Hello and welcome to Hearthless Gaming. Today I'll be showing off Guns of Icarus Online. This is a first person PvP arena game that focuses very heavily on teamwork and is developed by Muse Games. Like my other show off videos in the series, I'll be playing through the beginning to give my viewers a glimpse of the game. As always, if you would like to see more, please comment and like below. Now, there's a lot to this game. I mean, it seems pretty simple, but there's more customization and gameplay than you would think. <laughs> First off, there's three classes. You have a gunner, an engineer, and a pilot. Up here, you can tell I've been playing for a little bit, so I already have some levels. We have our gunner, we have our engineer, we have our pilot skills. As you play them more and you perform certain tasks, you unlock higher levels to them. Kind of shows more to the people you're playing with, you know, what your skill level is. You can tell I'm not a very good pilot. <laughs> I've only got level one. Uh, but they each focus on individual tasks. The gunners, of course, are going to man the guns more. The engineers are going to uh, be focused more on repairing. And the pilot's going to spend almost all of his time at the helm, steering the ship around, trying to get into a good position for the guns or to evade the enemy. Now, I'll show you off the customization real quick. You can customize your character and even your ship. Now, the ship customization only goes into play if you play the captain role for your team, where you actually choose which ship you're going to use. And they've got a pretty good selection of different ships here. Each of these numbers being hard points on the actual ship. You can even name them. But you can actually choose which hard point on the ship has which guns. So you might focus more on uh, some flaming guns if you want to get in close, or some long range sniping guns if you want to stay at a distance. Or a mixture of the two if you want to be able to go in and out of combat pretty easily. Now, a lot of these ships have bonuses towards speed, health, armor, or just gun patteries. A lot of the small, faster ships will actually be a lot stronger when it comes to, to speed, but have very few gun spots, and even some of the heavier guns you can't mount on them. Now, ramming is also a thing as well, so some guns are, or some ships are really good at ramming. And of course, you can choose the theme. Quite, I don't have access to any of them. Decals, you can even paint the ship and the guns. And then we have your character. It's a much more steampunk-esque type of game. So all your looks and customizations have a steampunk feel to them. You can choose simple costume changes. Kind of like mine. Headwear. And you unlock more as you play through the game completing certain uh, achievements. And even goggles. You can get into your colors as well. And finally, here's the equipment for each of the different loadouts. You have a gunner, engineer, and pilot again. Depending on what you choose for your loadout, you can get different bonuses that you can use for each battle. Each battle. Battle. <laughs> Some of them are more important than others. It really depends on the kind of ship you're going to be flying and what type of guns you're going to be using if you're a gunner. So one thing I definitely recommend if you guys do play this game, if you're playing anything other than the pilot, you need a spyglass. That's going to make your life and everyone else's life on this ship so much easier. Alright. So let's go ahead and see if we can jump ourselves into a game.
All right. And we're in a game. To their ship. To their ship. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn down the voice volume just a little bit. Maybe the volume for the game is a hair as well. There we go. Now I'll tell you right now, pilots are God in this game. I truly mean that. The pilots are what hold up most of the games, finding uh, members to participate in them, because it takes a really good pilot to control some of these ships. If you feel yourself pretty good at these types of things, definitely recommend trying out that role. Now, if someone does leave, or if you can't find enough people for a game, the game will put in AI crew members to take over certain tasks like gunning, engineering. You see the two different teams here, and you can actually check out what ships they have. Like, this is his junker, the Black Mesa, so let's see what kind of guns he has. A light rocket launcher, Gatling gun, flat cannon, another flat cannon, and a field gun. That field gun's pretty nice for sniping. You can look at our teammate as well. They got a goldfish. Looks like a manticore heavy hawacha, light Gatling gun, and a light flamethrower. Flamethrowers are nice because you can actually set fire to different uh, parts of the ship. Making it harder for them to repair. Yeah, it looks like I'm a gunner. Let me check out what I have. So it's Starship. Incendiary burst charged. Hmm. I think I'm okay. The pipe wrench, that's pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to skip ahead to when we actually get into the match. Because sometimes, I hate to admit it, they might, there might be a little bit of wait between uh, when you, you get into a game whenever you get into the actual fight. All right, water hazards name this map. Be starting in 52 seconds or whenever the players fully load. It doesn't usually take a minute for the loading. It's a lot faster than that. I'll probably skip this anyways. <laughs>
All right, welcome to the game. Let's see what we got here. There's the field gun. I'm gonna load this up with some first ammunition. We got our ally over here. It's a 2v2 shipwise. At the start of the match, you're going to want to use your spyglass to actually spy around. Try to locate the enemy ship. Now, the smoke can actually be very important when it comes to fighting. Because it will completely obscure your ship. And until we know where they're at... Oh, we got one over here. It's the Chaos. What guns do we have on the, east, on the right side of the ship? Uh, loading up some ammo. Looks like he's not going to take the front of the ship. There we go. There should be another one around here though, somewhere though. We just got to keep an eye out. Oh, there's the other one. angles on this gun are actually quite terrible. But it does a good amount of damage. Come on. Michael hit that chaos here in a moment. It's turning. Good hit, good hit. Another good hit. Reloading. The size of the actual uh, crosses determines how much damage you've done. And in some cases, you get critical hits using certain types of ammunition or damage types against different parts of the ship. Come on. And of course, hitting different parts of the ship makes a big difference in what kind of damage you do do to the ship. You take out the balloons, and it's going to be very difficult for them to... Uh, stay afloat. Now see, I just shot some explo or incendiary rounds, and I set fire to part of their ship. Now an engineer on their ship actually has to put that out before he can repair it. And this pilot's doing terrible with letting me use this gun. Come on. Okay, got one, one down. Reload that and then move on. Let's see where the ship is. Okay, so we've got two kills on our side. And they're going to respawn somewhere. Come on, where are they at? More than likely, you're off in this direction. But where? Let's see here. The pilot's waiting for pushing into the smoke. It's not going to help anyone if we get surprised from behind. A battle can end real quickly. They get a good couple of lucky hits, and we're not prepared on the side that doesn't have any guns. And we might not be able to shake them. Looks like our ally is starting to push in a little bit.
Looks like they might be hiding from us. Looks like we're starting to push in just a little bit now. That's just wreckage. It's the calm before the storm. Pull up the map here. See we're in the lower right corner. Goes our ally. Looks like they're hiding in the smoke. Maybe you scared them off. I see something. To the northwest, west. Yeah, there's both ships right there. Just out of range of me. Come on. Which one's closer? So fire to their balloons. Ah, shoot. Chaos is going after our ally. Setting fire to their hull. Doing some heavy damage to that hull. Ah, it's got a rear to us. Smallest side. Could have set fire to the balloon. Now, while I'm shooting, the engineer should be back there repairing where needed. Come on, give me a good hit. Individual guns can even be targeted as well and destroyed. Oh, they're taking their shots. Reload, reload. Ah, oh, miss. Miss again. Minor hit. Oh, that was a good one. Let's switch a different type of round. Got it. Oh, that was a good hit. I keep hitting their guns, taking them out, so they can't fire back. Keep it lined up. Reloading. Just gotta keep going. They can't have too much. Depends on how well their engineers working on this ship. They're repairing the hole faster than we can. Reload. 
reload. Switching back to incendiary, set fire to a couple things. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, keep firing. Way too close for my comfort. <laughs> Our ally is setting fire to him. Suspect of fire. See, all these red hits are actual hits on the hull itself. Alright, let's reload this puppy. No, he's hitting our buddy. It's way too far for us. They hit us, though. And there's their ally. Our buddy might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, it's firing at us. Okay, we can hit it. Uh, watch it is shooting on the side. It's a big old cluster of rockets. That's going to be our biggest trouble right now. Take a couple shots at her. A little buddy down here. Reload, reload, reload. Destroy something. It's like a gun. Oh, yeah, it's turning. Keep spinning. not turning sharp enough to hit their physio with this gun. They're getting some minor hits on it. The engineers need to be working more. Take out some of these guns. Took out one of their guns. Looks like its forward guns are mostly damaged. One or two exceptions. Come on. Need the captain to turn us a little bit more. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Damn it, a little bit more, come on. Getting some hole damage now. Ah, it's going above us. Destroyed my gun. Come on. 
Come on. You just need to turn enough. Just enough. The Interficio is doing pretty good about keeping a out of the main gun. All right. Sure, I thumbs everyone up. Let's see here. Destroyed guns and engines 12 times. Close range kills is nice too. Alright, now this time I'm going to try to switch over to an engineer. Looks like we lost our uh, other team, pretty much. <laughs> you got three engineers. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll switch over to this goldfish. I'm going to engineer for it. Wait, the Mobula. I remember that. That's what we were fighting, the yeah, Interfissio. Oh, I better check my uh, tools here. We got the mallet. Yeah, that's everything we need there. The only difference would be the chemical spray, which keeps them from setting fire to something for a little while. Ah. So we need to get the bow and then go with the bow into there. Uh, maybe yeah, door or something. There, there's there's no. some kind of a point. And the only way to win is to... Okay, actually I'm gonna switch the watch over to Minotaur. Okay. You're gonna push the... Oh, there we go.
All right. This time around, I am an engineer, so I'm going to be playing that aspect of the gameplay here. The purpose of the engineer is to keep things running. Can you hear me? Yeah. Actually, I am loading right now. I'm not in the game. My game crashed, so now I'm loading. Oh, it wow. says connect. It says connecting to all the. Okay, it, 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 it should connect you maybe soon. I already got something over here. After the last one minute, I'm going to close See him in the, the fog over there. I can't target him, though. There we go. Okay, don't worry. Spotted to the south, Black Mesa. It's just an engineer. Alright, this right here is the armor. Gotta keep it up. See this little pipe is filling up. Before I can use my repair again. So we've got an engines down here, take some damage. The armor's taking damage again. Ramming. Did we lose our gunner? They were mostly a good repair. Okay, the girls are loaded with the right ammunition. Good, good. Let's see if we can get the ball before the teammates. Uh, where's the ball? Uh, behind us. Oh, that's a... The pilot's really pushing the engines hard, that's why the health is going down so quickly on him. Okay, Minotaur. Try to shoot somehow so he, he gets actually like interrupted from going at our teammate. Right gun, at Mobula. We're getting hit pretty hard from behind. Come on, come on, come on.
As components go down, it actually becomes a lot more difficult for us to even turn. The balloon keeps us from going down, so it's required to go up and down. The armor keeps us from taking any hull damage, which is our actual health. And we won! And you know, that shows the two perspectives of Guns of Icarus online. I do intend to play some more of this. But for right now, I'm going to stop the video here. If you guys want to see more, don't be afraid to like and subscribe. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're looking for. Alright? See you guys then.